Many of the drugs that are coming out of drug discovery programs worldwide are actually very poorly water soluble and that is becoming an issue because those drugs with low solubility are poorly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract. So for drugs that aren't absorbed most effectively, if they don't reach the concentrations they need to reach to act, then they fail in the clinic. And in our case we've got a real interest in using lipids to promote drug absorption, that's probably the technology that we've got the most experience with. And that's a really interesting technology because it works by tricking the body into thinking that it's absorbing the lipids and at the same time we can piggyback the process of drug absorption into the lipid absorption pathways. So we're interested in how lipids promote the absorption of poorly water soluble drugs in general by enhancing their solubilisation within the gastrointestinal tract. The lipids themselves are packaged into lipoproteins and these lipoproteins are transported via the lymphatics from the intestine and by piggybacking onto this process we can uh, promote drug delivery to the lymphatics as well. One of the most important aspects of a drug working is that it has to be able to reach the correct site. Cells have their own intrinsic transport pathways and so some of the work we're doing is looking at the mechanisms which drive the distribution of molecules within cells and how molecules are transported to the correct place within a cell to, to actually function. The reason it's so important at the moment is that a lot of the drug substances that are being discovered tend to have these poorly soluble properties. They're complex molecules, they're larger molecular weight than they used to be, and that's the result of wanting to get higher selectivity, but that creates drugs which are more difficult to deliver. This is a very unknown area and um, we feel like we're making an inroad in an area that people aren't exploring so, so much at other facilities. The key to successful research primarily is the people in this area. Uh, it's people that can think outside the norms and, and can apply themselves very rigorously. But of course, it would be naive to suggest that that doesn't require first-rate uh, facilities and first-rate equipment. And, and that's one of the major advantages of being here. Well, I think that one of the advantages that we have here is that we have a very broad range of expertise. Well, I think the young students uh, have got an excellent opportunity. They're really They've got excellent training, they've got fantastic infrastructure and we have some really clever students and I think this field will be very important for the next 10 or 20 years. And so I'm very positive looking forward. I think there's, there's great things that can be done and there's critical mass, particularly here at MIPS, is building our opportunity to harness that critical mass to make a real difference in people's lives I think is significant.